Okay, are we back? Okay, are we back? Looks like it. Okay, so... It's just about time to save. I was gonna save it after that. We can see your, uh, your chat. Now I can save. Okay, Kitsu, what do you think we should do? I think I should just call it here because of the problems I was having and just pick it up tomorrow, or do you want to see me finish this uh, part of the chapter? Alrighty. Got my uh, coffer fixed up again, so. That's what I was looking for. the tables. Three tables. Yes, perfect. Standard, so I need the bonfire and the pot plant and the chest. Oh, I have the bonfire. Okay.
pot plant. I need the chest and the pot plant. Okay, cool. You did it, Tux. You shot the Hades Condor right out of the sky. You killed the Dragon Lord's pet bird. I reckon he Hades you for that. P -p Please don't hurt me. I'll never make a joke that bad again. I promise. And anyway, Tux, you should be smiling. The Hades Condor is dead. Then Rimbledar is saved. Get monster attacks. Though. Okay, 
Okay, what did I have in here? It was that workstation. Those guys, evil idols. Saving station. There we go. Sewing station. Condor is defeated. Praise be to the goddess. Truly she does watch over us all. Now the plight that flutes her land can finally be eradicated for good. Thank you, my lamb. Thank you so very, very much. By the way, what's that curious crystal that you restored, recovered from the condor? Do you think you could use your powers as the builder to craft it into something that could clear the darkness from our sky? of rain. Tux makes the staff of rain. Good goddess above, if I'm not mistaken, that's the legendary staff that can restore the light to the land. Tux, my lamb, take that staff to the banner of hope and offer it to the heavens and let Rubus's blessing shine down upon us once more. Here we go! Returns to Rimmeldar. Tux, my child, you have done well. Rimmeldar has been freed from the Dragon Lord's evil influence, and his people are now free to cleanse this land of the poisons that polluted it. However, your duty is not over yet. There are others who still suffer under the Dragon Lord's rule and await your succor. Praise be to the goddess. Look, Tux, the heavens are so, so bright. 
That night, the people of Rimmeldar hold a modest ban banquet to celebrate Tux's victory and their freedom from the Dragon Lord's curse. Though the jubilant villagers enjoy the festivities, the thought of the friends they lost to the Blight weighs heavily upon them all. Everyone at the feast secretly steals themselves to the thought of many afflicted still suffering throughout the land in need of help. Then morning comes. Tux, you have finally awoken. Oh my, you don't look so at all. My poor little lamb, I think you may have had a little bit too much fun last night. <laughs> After spending all our lives with that darkness hanging over us, I think that's the first time any of us have ever laughed so hard. But still, my grandfather, Grunch, just seemed over ever so remorseful last night. He seemed to want to apologize for anything and everything. Did something happen? Well, never mind. I think I know what might have made him have a change of heart. <laughs> Oh, one more thing, Tux. I saw a most curious sight this morning. There was a great shaft of light rising from the hills to the north and piercing high into the heavens. I imagine that's the sort of thing that might interest you. Perhaps you would like to go and take a look? Thanks to your efforts, Tux, the Hades condor was slain in the sky as bright and beautiful once again. And now that the source of the blight has been vanquished, the sickness will stop spreading across the land. But this is only the beginning. There are still a great many poor alien souls who require our aid, and the land is still steeped in noxious toxins. Our struggle won't be over until the whole of the world is cleansed of the condor's poison. We have had a long and arduous road ahead of us, filled with blood and sweat and tears, but even so, I can't wait to get started. Hee <laughs> hee, it's such a peculiar feeling. That old geezer Grunches has been going around apologizing to everyone for being such a stick in the mud. I didn't really understand what he was going on about, but he's been saying it was his accursed mind that made him so finicky. To be honest, I think he's being more finicky now with all these tedious apologies than he ever was before. Good news, Tux Grunch just says I'm free to leave town whenever I want. Not only has the sun come out again, but I can go out on my travels without having to worry about catching the dreaded lurgy. Speaking of catching stuff, you'll have to tell me all about that bodkin fisherman you met sometime. I'm going to track him down and become his apprentice. I want to train myself to be the best fisherman in the whole wide world. If I catch a proper whopper, I'll give it to you, just, so just you wait. There's something I've been meaning to ask you for a while now, Tux. What are those round yellow things you wear on your head? Goggles, you call them, and you invented them yourself? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I have another 2 at 11 shift tonight. Is that right? You can't actually remember making them, but you were wearing them when you woke up, so you reckon you must have done them. Wherever they came from, they look pretty cool. When the world's at peace again, I bet everyone in Alphagar will want a pair. return to the sky and our town is only going to get bigger and better from here on out. Once we've purified Rimmeldar of all the poison that rotten condor dumped here, I want to make my dear to prairie granddad's dream come true. It was always going on about how wonderful the old puff puff parlors were back in those days. <laughs> puff puff parlors. I'm still not exactly sure what puff puff is, but I'm working on some ideas. I've already got a couple of big ones. Do you mind if I bounce them off you sometime? Oh, I want to talk to Grunches, not L. Tux, I'd take my hat off to you if I had one. You put up with my pompous speech to save my dear granddaughter and slew the Hades convoy. Meanwhile, it feels like all I managed to do for Rimmeldar was to make the place even more gloomy and depressing than it already was. Realize I need to lighten up a bit and give the grumpy old man routine a rest. To that end, I decided to dye my hair. What do you say to that? I think I'm styling myself after a good friend knows it. Don't you think that color would suit me? T 
Tell me, Tux, have you heard of a place called Tantagel? It's a land to the west of here where the capital city of Elephant once stood. But there's nothing standing there now. Apparently the whole place has been cursed so badly that nobody can live there anymore. I thought Rimaldar had a pet. It seems like it's going to be a while yet before the whole of Olive Guard's at peace again. Alright. Okay, so I want to go towards the star. There's the pillar of light she was talking about. I think once I get over there, I'm going to call it a day. My streaming. A little extra time on the stream never hurts, right? Goes my Falcon Blade. Travel to the next island, of course. Tux, must you really leave us? I want to stop you more than anything, but I know that that would be mere selfishness, and selfishness is a sin. Nor would I wish to sour this moment by pleading with you to stay. For I know the role that you must play in the land. You are to rid Olive Guard of the darkness that infects his very heart, to cure it of this plague of shadow. I do beg your pardon. I'm being awfully poetic all of a sudden. Now remember to dress warmly, Tex. We can't have you catching the cold. And make sure you keep yourself well fed. Try to eat food that's healthy and nutritious. And remember to exercise too. And, um, and... Oh yes, Tex may not be much, but I got a little something for you. Please take this with you. I don't want you fighting all this horrible monster you found. Farewell, my lamb. Take care of yourself wherever you are. If I succeeded at any of the challenges. <laughs> Complete the chapter within 30 days. Yeah, right. Build your base to level 5. I didn't get that around there, but I did get the repair roof. Complete all of Thalamus's puzzles. Oh, so there was other puzzles besides that. Redeemer of Rimaldar. Chapter three: Cole and Gullenholm have been has been unlocked. The plains in northern Elfgard, where the twin towns once nestled in a sea of greenery. New island has been unlocked in Terra Incognita. New recipes have been unlocked in Terra Incognita. Okay, looks like that's it. I hope everybody has enjoyed the stream. I had fun bringing it to you. Sorry for the little bit of uh, problems in the middle there, but yeah, technical difficulties, right? Anyways, everybody have a good day, and thanks again, and I'll see you next time.